The rising case counts as school districts prepare for graduation ceremonies. Channel 5's John Paul Barajas with the plans underway at Edinburgh CISD. An in-person graduation is back on for some school districts. We spoke to some students who are weeks away from walking across the stage and they couldn't be happier. Seniors got a bit of normal back last week when they went to campus to pick up their caps and gowns. Even if it had to be done in a drive through format, they made the best of it, decorating their cars, but also remembering safety first, even for their rides. For sure, I won't ever take it for granted. Like, school was fun, but you know, there were days where we just didn't want to be there, senior riding. But now I'm really grateful, like, that I got to go back and just be in that same setting again because I did miss it. Coming to the realization memories and moments they've watched class after class before them enjoy might not be possible was like watching years of hard work slip away. I've been looking forward to this day since, I mean, since we all worked super little and I just really wanted to experience the proper graduation. Edinburgh Consolidated Independent School District is doing what they can to make that happen, announcing an outdoor ceremony for the first time in 20 years, meaning the cap and gown wasn't just to be hung up in a closet, but to be worn across a stage. As soon as I got it, I took pictures with it because I was just so excited. Of course, I would like the arena, but of course that um, I would rather prefer the stadium than be on online. The students and parents aren't the only ones excited. Principal of Edinburgh North, Mark McAuliffe, says they see the kids grow up into young adults and want them to be able to celebrate their accomplishments. Having to end this year at spring break and uh, have the longest spring break in history uh, was, you know, just going to be terrible for these kids. But uh, but it'll be great to see the students walk across the stage. The district will be following safety rules, such as having students on the field spread out, as well as in the stands, only allowing two tickets per family. But now that the show is back on, there are some other concerns. Yes, I'm nervous. I'm going to trip. <laughs> All graduations are scheduled for June at Richard R. Florida Stadium, but the superintendent says if there's a spike in cases, there could be a change in plans. If there isn't, we'll be airing them on Channel 5.2 Somos El Valle.